Hi everyone, my name is Kenneth Chu from ABCD Technology. Today I would like to share with you on how to manage your group setting under manage group. So we go to chat group. Okay, in the chat group setting, you go to manage group. Okay, today I will teach you on this part. Okay, the first one is group owner and admin edit only. If you open, means that only group owner and admin can edit. Okay, the name, the members, announcement, icon, chatbot. Okay, so another one is only group owners and admin can send things in group chat. So group owners and admin can send things in group chat. Okay, next we move on to admin side. So here admin, you can add in, uh, add group admin. So for example, here I just add one of the uh, team member in my group admin. Okay, for example, I put Leon as admin. Okay, so Leon will become the admin for this group. So next, okay, we come back here. We move on to only group owner and admin can add all. Add all means we want to mention somebody, you need to put this one. I, uh, for example, here, okay, me as an admin, I can set Elias and I can put. If let's say I'm a normal member, then I cannot use this function. Okay. So we come back here, turn off private chat, okay. So turn off private chat means that the group member cannot add each other as friend or send private message, okay. And some of the message type will not be supported. For example, external message cannot be forwarded to this group if we open this one, okay. So this is called turn off private chat, okay. Next, you have don't allow sending direct message to admin. Okay, so which means if we open this one, uh, none of the member can send message direct to admin. Okay, so only group admin can send message to other member. Okay, next you have a uh, group can be searched. Okay, so if we let's say we open that only internal members could find and join this group by searching the number. If we do not open, everyone can search this group name. Okay, so when I open, so this one will become a, like a private group. Okay, so the group number is this number. So they can join the group, search the group using this number. Okay, another one, join group permission. If we open this one, group me member can invite all the members outside from the group to join this group. And you need to confirm from the group owner or the group admin to allow them to join in. Okay, this is called join group permission. So let's say if you open, that means owner and group admin will check whether they allow these outsiders members can join in or not. So view chat history means that when newly joined member come in, they can view the last hundred chat entries. That means the previous chat you can view for last hundred. Okay. Next, if we turn on group live, okay, so everybody can start live. If we turn off, only group owner can. Live okay. Next, we have group meeting. So, if we open, so anybody in the group can create video and voice meeting in the chat group. Okay, next, group file long term storage. Okay, so if we enable this, all the files here shared will straight away save into Spring Drive. Next, the last one is transfer ownership. So from here, you can just transfer ownership to any of the member. Okay, the last one is to delete the group. Okay, so when we delete, all the group member will quit this chat group and all the files, pictures will also be deleted. So that's all for today on how to using the manage group setting in the group chat. See you guys on next time. Bye.